Hey guys, and welcome back to the Brogue Let's Play. Um, kind of tired and I can't see myself. Oh, there I am. That was really confusing. I started out in, like, yellow with a yellow character. That's... You're probably not going to be able to see me at all on YouTube because of how much quality YouTube takes away. Ooh, javelins. I didn't even know those were a thing in this game. That's neat. Hmm. I wonder if my skill actually matters with them. It definitely does. Yeah, I'm not sure how much those stats affect throwing though. Ooh, an altar. This could be interesting. Or no, it's a key. Herp derp. Either way, it could be interesting, because a lot of times these are trapped. The altar attracts with a grinding sound. Dead fungus covers the ground. That's it? Nothing? Sweet. Nothing bad happened. So, let's see. There's two rings in here, I think. A ring of light. Two rings of light. That's not that great. Skill. Plate. I'm tempted to get the plate just because it will be good later if I survive that. Ooh, staff of poison. I have made up my mind. For those who don't know, I have a weird obsession with poison. No, do not venture into flames. So I'm guessing that was the actual trap. And it's working pretty well since I'm kind of stuck in here. Luckily fire can't spread on like rock so I should be able to wait it out. Is that? Yeah that's flame. I don't want to step in you. Uh, can I go around? No. There you go. Okay well I didn't get hurt and I got a staff of poison. Oh, right, I was saying something. Um, I have a weird sort of obsession with poison. It's probably not healthy, but it makes stuff like that very interesting to me. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you are a jackal, apparently. That's not what I meant, though. You are 111 pieces of gold. Not bad. Uh, and we're in the dark. Yeah, safe place to hide. I like that it tells you that it will be a safe place to hide. Not that in my let's plays I'm actually going to be hiding much because I like to keep moving and keep doing things. Hello, sleepy. I'm gonna poison you. Yeah, it's not as effective as I would have liked, but still, I like it. It's a little bit of extra damage at range. And it seems to have an okay duration, so I should be able to make use of it. Fire immunity charm. Charms, you have to apply them, yeah, when used, and it recharges over about 500 turns. Okay. So, very slow to recharge, but it can be useful. Fire immunity would have helped out if I had gone there. Ooh. Did anything float away? I know I just fell in the water. I can't see a way around here. Okay, I see a way around. It's um, all the way over here though. I went the wrong way, I guess. But that shouldn't be too problematical. And then right up here. To get a second scroll of Flynn Potter Grape. I'm gonna read one. Scroll of Enchantment. Nice. 
I'm going to enchant that poison staff, actually. Not really hurt, so I'm not even going to bother with the... Eh, yeah, I will. I was going to say I'm not really hurt, so there's no point bothering with it, but... Just in case it doesn't hurt. I'm not going to be sticking around long enough to actually benefit or waste it anyway. So, looks like that's about all for this floor. I was going to try a new recording method this time, but I can't seem to get it to work. I don't have a line of sight to that rat, so... Okay. Ha! Fatally poisoned. Okay. I like that it actually tells me it's fatal. Oh, that's locked. It's an iron door. Ooh, fancy. I do have to wonder, though, who, like, comes down to a cave and sets up iron doors and deposits treasures all over the place. I mean, by video game standards, it's nothing special, but in the real world, you would expect an exp you would not expect such behavior. Cool. It's fatally sick. And it's fatally dead. I'm gonna wait a bit and let the floor rebuild itself, like so. I don't know if I explained it before, but that's basically how the potions that make the floor disappear work too. It'll just rebuild itself after a little while. I'm gonna try to make it up to this pathway before the poison. And it looks like I wasn't really in any danger from that anyway. Uh, I'm gonna throw a dart at a jackal and repeat because I don't really... Yeah. I kind of had a feeling that there would be more than one. I didn't want to get into a big fight. More potions. That cobalt. Picked a nice spot for a nap, actually, in the middle of the bushes. I hope you can't hear my computer fan. It's been hot, like, all day. So, my fan's been running hot, as per usual. Okay, what horrible thing is going to happen now? Oh, the floor is going to drop out from under me. That's a problem. Uh, I may have a solution, though. Please make me fly. No. Make me fly? No. Fly? You. So, that kind of backfired. So I'm going to jump down a hole now. Ow. And teleport pretty randomly to the stairs back up. Good. That worked out. Much better than I was expecting it to, actually. To be honest, I was kind of expecting to die from that. But not dying is perfectly okay with me. I rather like not being dead. And speaking of not being dead, I can actually make use of this this time. Because I got my ass beat by that fall in Ruby Ring. Do I have any scrolls? No. So, let's just try it out and hopefully it doesn't do anything too bad. Speaking of bad things, I want to kill you from a distance. No, I already made it that f I already jumped down one hole this level. I don't need to jump down more. I no longer feel immune to fire. How does one feel immune to fire, exactly? 
I can understand if you're in fire and it doesn't hurt you, then yeah, you're immune to fire and you've kind of figured that out, but in a more abstract sense, how does one feel as though you will not be harmed by fire? Where was that locked door? Oh, okay, to the left here. I can remember things. So what, there's a ring of stealth. Ooh. I like Ring of Stealth. I think I'm gonna take the ring. Charging charm. Chainmail. Another dagger. Yeah, the ring's the best bet here. And I will equip that before I forget to. So now we're sneakier. Which basically just translates to having a decent chance of not being spotted if we're not out in the open in the middle of the light. Which I'm rather fond of. It also means we can hide in shadowy areas to sort of escape from enemies a little bit. It does not, however, mean that I will be getting out of this alive. So, what are the odds that one of those potions would be incendiary? Probably not that good, but I'm gonna hope it works now. Okay, choke point first of all, because yeah, I'm gonna go back over here and take a nap. Okay, apparently I'm gonna go back over here and shoot poison at a goblin. And then take a nap. And then shoot more poison at a goblin, apparently. He didn't seem to notice me at least. Motherfucker. Go away! I'm trying to take a nap! God damn it. I'm gonna take a nap up here then. Fuck you all. Why can I not escape these fucking jackals? Okay, I'm gonna try throwing that brown potion at that one. Nothing. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping one of those would be incendiary, but apparently not. I don't think that other one noticed us. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Must be that ring of stealth. So I should eat. Yeah, okay. We're not looking too terribly bad right now. Could definitely be worse. Kind of surprised we survived at all, to be honest. As you all know, I am bad at these games, and that was a pretty bad situation for somebody who is as bad at this as I am to be stuck in. I like fire immunity. Okay, I do not like conjurers, so poison? No. I don't care about the monkey. Poison you. Um and run for a choke point. Can I poison you? It looks like... No. I'm out of charges. Probably should have seen that coming. But, well, you know. Oh, we have two rings of stealth. That's what that ruby one was. That's handy. Where are the other... Uh, What are the odds at this hole? I don't know. I wanna... There. Okay. No. Not remove. Throw the javelin at the monkey. Throw the javelin at the monkey. Um... Stab the monkey? Good. That worked out better than I expected. 
and a scroll that I will actually I'll just read it now. I was gonna hold on to it for a bit, but yeah, it's a good thing I didn't hold on to it for an emergency. Cause it just pissed off everything on the floor. I don't know how long that staff takes to recharge, does it say? Bolt from the staff plus any creature it hits. Has three charges, recovers a grad no it doesn't say. Okay, I'm gonna actually upgrade it again though. Cause I rather like it. Yeah, okay. So I don't know if that will give it extra charges or anything like that. Actually let's yeah, it did give it an extra charge. And now it's poisonous enough to kill a jackal on its own. That's good to know. Fire immunity and one of my javelins back. Another scroll. I've got a feeling that's the Shatter Walls one, so. But I'm just gonna try it out now because I don't want to light myself on fire or something. No, remove curse. Okay, that was kind of wasted, but. I don't really mind wasting them so much because it means I didn't. Um, what was I saying? Because it means I didn't, you know, kill myself with it. Alright, so where was there? Okay, over here and down. I'm trying to think about where I could go still on this floor. I don't know why I feel the need to explore so much. Weather deep. Oh. So. I don't have any other unidentified scrolls, do I? No, I didn't think so. Would be nice to be able to break through that. So is there a secret door around here? Because it looks like that's a statue, not like a door. Maybe I should drop my stuff and swim over? I don't think I really need to... Which way is the current going? I can't tell. Okay, that was pretty bad, actually. And I can't really see myself. Come back here, stuff. I'm trying to catch my stuff in the current now. I don't really care about the... Okay, is the current gonna bring it over here at all? Can I grab it and get out? Yeah. Okay, I don't really care about the javelins and darts. That's not important to me. I did want to keep that staff, though. And I kept my potion, too. Yeah. And the charm, which is pretty nice. So, could have been worse. It's a very bad idea, just in general, though. By the way, that's why you shouldn't go swimming in this game, because all of your stuff will get dragged off in the current. The nice thing is, the current actually does move it around, so you can actually go to the coast that it gets blown to, and just pick it back up. Oh, all my shit got reorganized, I don't know what button to hit anymore. Okay, it's still not enough to be fatal to a goblin, but it does most of the work for me. I'm not going to complain about that. Is there any secrets in here? Because it seems like there should be a actual door to that. Yeah, it seems like there should be an actual door to this area down here that doesn't have that in the way. Oh. So, is there... Hmm. I guess not. Okay, well... I'm not too concerned about it. Would have been nice, but... Ooh, a mango. Neat. I like mango. Kinda want a mango now. Let's kill a jackal. Okay. 
Sorry for the pause there. I was trying to figure out where that potion was because it was listed on the sidebar, but I couldn't see it, actually. That's one nice thing about the sidebar. It lists things that your character can see, so when I'm being kind of slow and can't find it myself, I know it's there still somewhere. I can go back to the spot to see it. I think burgundy was one we had before, isn't it? And it's flashed uselessly, so I'm going to... Wow, really? Okay. Yes, I know I'm on fire. Let's do that and get the fuck out of here. Please have charges? Good. Ooh. Our staff can fatally kill a conjurer now. One more step. Oh, you don't have one more step in you. Good. I'm pretty sure um, if you don't move around, the stealth will actually work a little bit better. In that you can wait for an enemy and ambush them without them noticing you when they walk right in front of you. Usually if you're one tile away, He's definitely going to notice me, but where'd the goblin go? Oh, he blends in. Okay, fine. Be that way. Have fun dying. You done yet? Good. I don't like when they walk away like that. It's annoying. Yes, yes, you're an eel, and you can't get out of the water because you're an eel. Oh, the toad made me hallucinate. I'm gonna let that wear out before I do anything else. I don't really mind hallucinating, but it makes it hard to judge what you're actually doing. Um, what do you do? You break everything and piss off the jackals, most likely. Okay. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna pop that while I'm here, though. So my health is getting a little bit low. I like how bright and colorful those shattering scrolls make everything. Looks really trippy, sort of. Is that all for this floor? What's it? Pink jelly, where? Oh, way over there. I don't care. Keep going. I don't think you even get like experience or anything in this game, which I actually really like. Because it means I don't have to worry about killing every monster to feel like I'm properly leveled. And we're at the lava floor. What floor are we on? Oh, we're at five already? Wow, that went by fast. Well, it feels like it went by fast for me. I could have been recording for half an hour now at this point. I don't have any idea. Okay, brown I know was one that just splattered helplessly. What'd that say? Uh, maximum health, okay. Shit, I threw away maximum health. Strength, okay. I don't know white, I don't know turquoise, do I? Oh, turquoise is fall. Turquoise is fall into goblins that are all asleep. Okay. Um. Lots of goblins. So many goblins. Please let me sneak out of here without waking up the goblins. Thank you. Leaving now. Okay. Jackals I can deal with. Hundreds of thousands of goblins, not so much. What do I have? Ugh. No. Uh... 
modify is beneficial. No, okay. I'm backwards. I is bad, which means I should probably throw it at them if I survive that long. Everybody's confused. Okay. No. Oh, it's because I'm confused, so I have no idea if I'm going to step into the lava or do something useful. That's problematical. So I'm telepathic. I'm also still confused, but I'm telepathic. That recharged my stuff, so I should be able to... Where is my cursor? I can't see it. I think I'm aiming at a goblin. I don't want to risk stepping into the into the um lava right now so fire that way that's too poisoned where's my cursor that's really getting annoying. I can't see my cursor in this um, confusing cloud. Okay, that's another one that's fatally ill. Now would be a good time for like a... Wait. Previous to heat, fire and lava. Yes, lava. Good. So I can move without too much risk. And are they all dead? I can't tell. It looks like it. So can I? Yeah, okay. Whew. That was stressful. Fuck. I need a drink, hold on. Holy shit. I am survive. I'm. I'm not survived. We surprised that. I'm surprised we survived that. What is that? Oh, I don't like that. I'm so confused. So I'm gonna stand still for a bit longer. Okay. Whew. That could have gone worse. Probably could have gone better, but it definitely could have gone worse. And now there are fewer goblins down there for me to deal with next time, I think. Oh, that's a gas trap. That's an acid mound. Can you be poisoned? Yes, you can. <laughs> it triggered a trap. Uh, let's stop being funny now. I'm paralyzed. Really? All that? I'm gonna die to an acid mound. Damn it, game! That's really disappointing. So sad. So sad. Damn it, game. Oh well, we made it pretty far. It's our best one yet, actually. Okay, well, see you guys next time. Oh, I'm recording this elsewhere. Bye, guys.